13th Colony Distillery. Is it any good? Let's find out. What is going on everybody? Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker, bringing you guys a brand new video. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of a review. We're gonna be doing a double review for that. And on the bar top, we have two bottles out of the 13th Colony Distillery. On our left, we have their rye whiskey offering. This one right here is bottled at 95 proof and it is finished in French oak to create a unique flavor and silky texture. So that is their rye whiskey offering. And on our right here, we have their bourbon small batch offering. This is also bottled at 95 proof. It's a well-rounded, multiple double gold award-winning straight bourbon with hints of sweet corn cob, leather cherry, caramel, and tobacco. This bourbon delights the palate. This bourbon is bound for your collection. They were also kind enough to sign the rye bottle for me. Very, very excited for that. Definitely a fun bottle to have. 13th Colony is also bringing out a couple of new offerings. So if you guys want, go check out their Instagram, go check out their Facebook, go check out their website. They have a couple of really cool offerings that if you can get your hands on in those states, make sure you keep your eyes open for those. But before we get into the bottles, make sure you guys are dropping those likes. Likes help like crazy. Leave a comment down below if you've had 13th Colony, any of their offerings. And if you are new, hit that subscribe. Because like I've been saying at 5,000 subscribers, this bottle of Blanton's right here could be yours. All you gotta do is hit that subscribe. And one more thing before we get into the bottles, check out the Patreon. For as little as $2 a month, you can support the channel. The Patreon helps like you wouldn't believe. The community is growing, it's blowing up right now. We are starting to get a really, really nice community over there. And if you want, go check it out. Link is down below. But I really wanna get into this rye because it is finished in those French oak saves. So let's get in the nose. I definitely get a lot of fruits out of this. This is very fruity, fruit forward as all could be. I get a little bit of peach. Uh, uh, that I usually get peach out of bourbons, but this is a very light rye. I'm not getting a lot of like rye spice. Now the mash bill for the rye is 96% rye and 4% malted barley. So it is a very high rye. I get a little bit of like a cedar bark off of this. I'm not getting any mintiness. It's just very sweet. I'm getting a very complex vanilla coming off of there as well. This is opening up to be very, very beautiful. This is a very nice nose. Let's get into the palate. Wow, that's really good. It's got that orange note that I always get off of a rye, but because it has that French oak, it's a very, very rich vanilla following. That is an impeccable sip. It's got a really, really nice mouth feel coats your entire mouth. You get a little sting on the tip of your tongue, but it's nothing that is going to knock your socks off. 95 proof is a really, really nice proof. I really like that a lot of these companies are coming out with a little bit higher proof for their small batch offerings rather than the 90. Give us a little more punch. Give us a little bit more flavor that is in that barrel instead of watering it all the way down. 95 proof, it's a really, really nice starting proof for these small batches and I really enjoy this sip right now out of this rye. Oh yeah, that that is in contention for one of my favorite ryes at the moment. That is a beautiful sip, very, very delicious. Lots of fruits, that complex vanilla comes out. I enjoy that a lot. But let's get another bourbon and see if it is just as good as their rye or even better. So the bourbon here is 70% corn, 21% rye, and 9% malted barley. So it is a little bit higher of a rye bourbon, but off of that initial nose, it's a very earthy nose. I'm getting fresh cut grass. and getting a little dustiness. Touch of peanut, a little leather off of this. And then with that, I'm also getting like a little bit of a malted chocolate. Cotton, the nose in a way, Reminds me very much of the Bardstown Origin High Rye. What is that high rye percentage again? Let's see. This is 60 corn, 36 rye, 4% malted barley. So it's definitely a higher rye, but I'm getting that malted chocolate note off of it as well. Definitely on that, it's opening up to be a little bit sweeter. Sweetness is coming off a little bit of that like refined sugar. Really interested in this palette. The chocolate comes over through the palette. Not malted chocolate though. Like I'm getting a little bit more of like a very, very dry, dark chocolate. Definitely has some earthy tones that come through there. It's got a little bit of like a hay bale note coming off of there, but it's a sweet palette as well. 
it's really, really good. But out of these two offerings, the rye is by far my favorite out of these two. The rye's nose is better than the bourbon. The rye's palate is better than the bourbon and the finish is leaps and bounds better than the bourbon. But the bourbon's not bad whatsoever. Cannot diss this bottle at all. It's a really, really nice pour. But if you had the choice between one of these two bottles, definitely pick up this rye. And I know I am a French oak snob. Absolutely love anything finished, finished in those French oak staves or in French oak barrels. This being in that and having those French oaks, man, that turns this into a top notch rye that I have on my shelf now. I will keep going back to that rye. That is really good. Bourbon, really good as well. If I had to pick something out of this bourbon that's really interesting, it almost has this buttery quality to it, right? It's very, very oily. It's it's viscous for 95 proof. It like really rounds out over top of your tongue. You don't get a lot of burn for that 95 proof, right? Unless you, it's your first bottle you've ever had and you, you're not acclimated to that little bit higher proof than 90-ish. It definitely coats your entire tongue and it's a very, very oily, viscous mouthfeel. Really enjoy that a lot. And that really complements a lot of that sweetness that comes out of the bourbon a lot. But I just can't talk highly enough about this rye. This is a really, really good pour. So if you yourself have a bottle of the 13th Colony Distillery, let me know what bottle you have down below and what your thoughts on it because I really enjoy this rye. And if you have it, let me know your thoughts on it. If you have the bourbon, let me know your thoughts on it as well. But until next time, this has been Nathan with the Everyday Drinker. Cheers.